important game this for Doncaster Rovers then. They may feel that having done the hardest job, or at least on paper, in getting a draw down at Yeovil on Tuesday night, a 1-1 scoreline, that they now have simply to overcome their opponents here at Bellevue. Tierney flicks it back to Kelly. Kelly forward down that right-hand side. Oh, that one crept off defender Terry Skiverton, and it looked for a minute or so. I think it was Gill who was probably just trying to sweep that one past the advancing keeper. I think will be uh, an in-swinging corner. That's not a bad one. It's very nearly in. And referee's given a penalty to Rovers. He's given a penalty for Doncaster Rovers. A push by number three there on the back of Barrick. And, uh, in, in fact, on the back of Jim Kelly. So it's a penalty to Rovers in the very, very early stages. Jamie Patterson scored from the penalty spot last week to give Rovers maximum points against Margate. Can he do it this afternoon? He's waiting for the goalkeeper to be ready. Now he is. Patterson, super goal. Five minutes on the watch. Jamie Patterson adds to his ever-increasing tally of goals. Yet another one from the penalty spot. And early in the game, Rovers draw first blood. Five and a half minutes on the watch. It's Rovers 1. Yeovil Town 0. Uh, it's got to be some pretty astute defending by Rovers now, just at the time when Yeovil are getting back into this game. But Tierney, that's a good cross by Tierney! Super goal by young Robert Gill. Tierney with the cross on 22 minutes. And Robert Grill, the lad, out of the youth team at Bellevue, powers a header into the back of the net to double Rovers' lead. Yeovil, not taking 2 0 line down as Crittenden down this. Right hand side, of course, a one time Chelsea player, Crittenden. And he's got past two across into the middle, but straight into the arms of Butler, just when it looked as though Rovers might become a little bit uh, undone down this right hand side. Great ball by Squires to Tierney on that right hand side. Tierney's got time to run at defender, still Tierney. Still Tierney. He's got a score. Oh, the defender on the line. Just when it looked as though Tierney was going to make it 3 0. Well, I think Tierney probably just forced himself a shade too far wide, but he really did deserve a goal for a, a lovely meandering run as that corner comes in on this side now. Flickedder! Gotta be in, surely! Well, the linesman on the far side couldn't see. Barnes through. <laughs> Kelly! Oh, hit the post, did Jim Kelly? Well, well, Tierney's had one whipped off the line. Kelly hits the post. And the fullback Lockwood, who, uh, whose challenge it was that caused. Uh, it was dangerous for Rovers. Good shot, and uh, Butler did well to see that. And of course, it's difficult angle because that sun is right behind Lee Butler. And rather That's well away, and now it's up to Rovers first to... Hey! <laughs> now there's a chance for Rovers. Now there's a chance. Gill. Yes! Super goal! Oh. Well, Robert Gill, didn't he do well there? He'd got support all the way through. He got a little bit of look at the bounce of the ball, but certainly he took it extremely well, and the youngster will feel absolutely on top of cloud nine at the moment. Robert Gill for Rovers, third goal, 49 minutes. It's Rovers three. Yeovil, nil. To Owen. To Price on the right-hand side. Great cross by Price! Oh! Goodness me! Well, it's three, but it could have been about seven. This is unbelievable. Yeah! <laughs> we all thought Tin had scored there, but he didn't. I think Miller went in the back there, so I uh, don't disagree with that. So uh, 
Crittenden with his free kick and uh, you suspect this is going in this left hand corner because quite honestly Butler and the goal there for Yeovil we certainly expected that one didn't we and it uh, has come on uh, 57 minutes a goal pulled back for Yeovil Keeper again. Alford scores. We saw that coming, we saw that coming, didn't we? <laughs> Don't believe it. Goal score for the overtime number four, Terry Stevenson. Did. <laughs> 